Okay. All right, praise God. Well, happy Sunday morning yeah. to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Yes. A church you can call home. Amen. Amen. So if you don't have a, a home church, you can join us, whether you're Amen. audio or video, you're, you're uh, checking us out. You know, a church you can call home because we yeah. teach right from the Word of God, the Bible. Yeah. Amen. The V I B L E. So praise yeah. God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. Ah, bienvenidos a iglesia nuevo comienzo. Amen. So prepare yourselves. Get ready to receive. Welcome. All those of you that are joining us by audio or video, prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchen por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You know, so praise God. And we're going to be talking today about surrendering all. Amen. Amen. And, Amen. And, and you know, you can make it personal and just say, I surrender all. Yes. You know, this is on a daily, daily, day, daily basis. Amen. You know, well, we're starting out a new year. This year, we want to surrender ourselves to Him. Yes. Amen. We've been talking about yes. growing, glowing, and going for Jesus. Amen. Amen. So you got to get the Word in you. Yes. Amen. You got to have a relationship with Him. Yes. And you got to grow in these things. Amen. We start out as babes, you know, but we have to grow. Yes. Just like babes, they grow. You know, physically, they grow. That's it. You know, they don't stay babies all the time. But as Christians, as baby Christians, we also have to mature in the word. Yeah. And we got to grow, glow, and go for him. Amen. 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 But you know what? The Bible says you can do all things through Christ all who things. strengthens you. Amen. Yes. Amen. So yes. don't ever make excuses. We're going to be talking about excuses. Oh, <laughs> and everybody's got one. Amen. So whatever yours is, say, wow, I never thought about that one. Woo, let me write this down. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Before uh, we get to going too, too much, grab your swords, soldier of God. Amen. And uh, let's confess this together. Amen. Amen. So this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you know what? <laughs> I'm going to receive whatever he has for me. You know, uh, I've told you this many times, but I'll say it again. Just be like a little sponge. And, you know, sponge up whatever God has for you. You know, maybe the, your neighbor, the person next to you, or whatever. They, they, they just, it's just passing them by. No. You grab what's for you, for me. I'm going to grab what's for me. Amen. So I have a relationship, and I expect him to hear me. He hears me, so I expect him, expect him to hear me. Amen. Amen. And uh, he has something, you know, sometimes we just got to zip the lip <laughs> and, 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 and just sit there and, and, and just uh, receive what the master has for you. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Remember we talked about Mary and Martha last, last week? Oh, yeah. Well, Mary was, I mean, Martha was super busy, you know. And, hey, you know, sometimes if you're trying to impress people, it looks good. Wow, that person was, you know, just all over the place. Yeah, but what was the message about? No. I, I don't know. I was too busy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we try to make excuses. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to get too much into that. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I, I didn't get anything from it. Well, what did you put into it? You got to come prepared to receive. You know, yeah. we're talking about my mind is alert. Uh -huh. We have to renew our minds with the Word of God on a daily basis. Yeah, we right. got we have to prepare ourselves. Yeah. And, and, you know, whatever you got in your mind <laughs> about what's going on right uh -huh. now, just put it off. Yeah. And say, hey, I'm just going to surrender my mind to you, Lord, and you come and you feed me. Amen. But we have to be ready for whatever he has for us. Amen. Surrender all. And you know what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. <laughs> we're not going to rush through this. We're going to take our time. <laughs> all right. Because we need to totally surrender ourselves. Okay. You know, sometimes you need to see, sit at the master's feet. I was telling you about Mary and Martha. Mary, I mean, Martha was super busy. Mary recognized the master. The uh, master is here at this yes. service. If you don't Amen. think he's here, then you need to renew your mind. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. But he's Amen. here, yes, and he's is. here to minister to you, to yes. bless you. Amen. Whatever it is, your need may be different than mine. Yes. But still, Mary saw the master, and she came and sat at his feet. Yes, Amen. So praise God. That's what we need to do yes. ourselves, you know. 
So don't rush off. We're not going to rush into <laughs> this message and try to finish, you know, A through Z in 10 seconds and say, okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Stop. It's no. time to stop. But you know what? Every time you come, never leave as you came. That's right. Amen. Always leave blessed. Yes. Because the master's, the father's talking to you. Mm -hmm. And you come to receive. So yes. don't leave the way you came. That's Amen. Right. Just leave it at his feet. Leave it there. You know, and say, hey, I'm giving it, I'm surrendering it all to you. And yes. leave it there. Don't leave with what you came. You know, every time you take a walk to the uh, dumpster and leave your trash, you don't come back with it. No, you left it there. So when you come see the Father, he says, cast it on me. Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going to give it to him, leave it there. Yes. You know, he's going to answer your prayer. He's going to answer your need yes. at his timing, not your time. Yeah. You know, you got a time clock, and you look at it all the time. Say, well, when is he going to answer you? And then you got friends come by and say, well, has he done this? Has, is it done? And you say, well, no. Well, God, what's up, you know? And then you end up taking it all back. Oh, yeah. Say, don't do that. Amen. You don't go to the dumpster and dump the trash, and then uh, a few hours later, or maybe the next day, you go and take it back. Say, no, I miss my trash. Yeah. Now let it go. <laughs> Somebody needed this, okay? Yeah. But listen, I talked. I, I told you about this last week. We want to hear from Father, so you want to be have an open heart before every service, before every time you meet with Him. Just say this with me: Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. these ears are to hear. Here. My mind is to understand, and my heart is to believe Your Word. Hallelujah. Ears to see. Amen. Minds to understand and hearts to believe. Yes. Amen. So we want to hear. Amen. You know, a lot of times we go visit with him and all we do is just have communication one way. Huh. <laughs> you are telling him. Yeah. And when you're done unloading, right. you walk away. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Amen. He never got a chance. He says, I knock at the door. He says, he stand at the door and he knocks, mm -hmm. but nobody's letting him in. Yeah. Well, you know, hey, you unloaded on him, but you didn't wait for him to come and bless you. Yeah. You just run off, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're in a hurry. It's a it's a fast world, you know. Yes. Hey, we got fast food restaurants. We got fast food everything. <laughs> fast this, fast that, you know. But we need to slow down when it comes time to serve him. Yes. You know, we need to slow down when it's time to listen to what he has to say for us. Yeah. Come on now. I'm right. preaching a bit of amen in there. Right, yeah. <laughs> <Right. laughs> amen. Praise God. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to be talking about surrendering all. Amen. amen. Normally, I tell you my chicken and my pig uh, story <laughs> after service. But today, I'm going to open up with the <laughs> chicken and the pig oh, story. Because no. we're going to be talking about surrender and you know when you surrender you commit yeah amen yeah. so listen to this the chicken and the pig oh, what are cruising out there they, they they passing by a church out in the country road <laughs> when they saw a sign that read charity meals for the poor please contribute so the chicken tells the pig hey that sounds uh, like a worthy cause let's contribute a ham and egg breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that sounds real good. Um, so the pig responds uh, thoughtfully and says, Madam, for you, that would be uh, a contribution or that would be an involvement for me. It'll be a total commitment. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Since for you, you know, laying an egg, uh -huh. that's no problem. Uh -huh. For me, it'll be a total commitment. Why? Because I have to give of myself. Uh -huh. I have. They they have to butcher me. Yeah. They have to kill him <laughs> for you to get some ham or some bacon out of me. Yeah. <laughs> you got to kill me. Amen. He says that's a commitment. Yeah. For you, it's an involvement. For me, it's a commitment. <laughs> and that's what we, you know, we're starting a new year. We're yes. starting it every new day. Yes. We make a commitment to him, surrender it all to him. Amen. Don't just be involved and look busy and uh -huh. try to please people. Uh -huh. You're pleasing God. Amen. Yeah. You please where God pleases, not man pleases. Right. But you have to make a commitment. You know, <laughs> when Jesus left heaven, he made a commitment. Uh -huh. 
and he told us finally he would fulfill what he came to do. Yes. Amen. So we need to do on a daily basis, make that commitment to say, Lord, here I am, send me. Absolutely. Yes. I'm ready. Yes. I'm here for you. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Amen. So we're not going to rush through this. Yes. Bit you up. Uh, well, let me let me read you some more. <laughs> the difference between being involved and being committed in the ham and eggs, the chicken is involved in providing the egg. That's no yeah. problem. <laughs> the pig is committed in providing the ham. Well, he's committed. That means he got to give of himself. Yes. Commitment means God can count on you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. God counted on Jesus to fulfill what he sent him to do. Yeah. You know, Jesus could have backed out any time he wanted to. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, and people are not nice to him. No, they weren't. You know, we need to prepare ourselves the way Jesus did. Prepare yeah. ourselves every day when you go out into the world, before yeah. you go into the world, because if you don't, <laughs> mm -hmm. there's a mad world out there. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of rage going on. And if you don't prepare yourself, you're going to fall right into it. Yeah. You know, somebody waves at you, yeah. <laughs> you're going to wave back at them. Sometimes they <laughs> just use one finger, you know, <laughs> and say, hey, how you doing? It's rage. It's madness yes, out there. Amen. And if you don't prepare yourself to yeah. be Christ-like and yeah. imitate him, you're going to fall right into it. Yeah. Amen. You don't have to do what they do. That's but right. you still got to show the love and compassion of God. Amen. Amen. You still got to imitate him. Amen. How are they going to see the Christ in you if yeah. you're acting like them? Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And if you act like right. them, the first thing they say is, well, I thought you was a Christian. Oh, yeah, first thing. First thing they say, well, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. They never say it before, but if they see you acting like them, uh -huh. say, uh-huh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Oh, you're, so you're not rooted and grounded in. Uh -huh. Well, uh, we're not perfect, but we're going to be as Christ-like as we could be. Yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes. Well, I thought I was, I was at the end. Now I got to go back to the front. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna do a little reading, uh, and I brought my uh, my Bible here, All right. my big Bible, because I want to read to you from the uh, NIV. Amen. So if you want to follow, we're gonna be reading uh, Luke for, uh, chapter fourteen, verses fifteen through twenty-four. Amen. Yep. And this is about the uh, parable of the great feast. Luke fourteen. 15 through 24. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is a man who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied, Jesus replied, a certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servants to tell who had been invited. Mm -hmm. Come, for everything is now ready. Mm -hmm. But they all alike began to make excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even in the Bible days. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. The first said, I have just bought a field and I must go and see. Mm -hmm. I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen, and I am on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. <laughs> Why would you buy something and find out it's broke? Why would you find <laughs> buy something and know that it's not good enough? You, you, you check them out before you buy them. Amen? So, still, another said, I just got married, so I can't come. The owner of the house came and angry and ordered his servant, go out quickly into the streets and the alleys and the streets and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. But at least if you haven't, they can't run away. Yeah. <laughs> and verse 22, Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Amen? Yes. There's still room. Then the servant told his uh, then the master told the servant, go out into the roads and the alley, uh, country alleys and make them come in so that my house will be full. Mm -hmm. I tell you, 
Not one of these men, not one of those men who were invited will get to taste my banquet. Amen. So wow. that's, the, that's the story. Amen. And listen to this. The host of the feast is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And he's talking about the feast is the heavenly feast of salvation. The day of the great feast comes and no one wants to take time to go. Mm. They all had excuses for rejecting his invitation to uh, the great feast. Mm. Amen. Before, I, well, they were abundantly blessed. Remember, <laughs> if the blessor wants to bless you, he says you're blessed by the best. Yeah. If he's blessing you, <laughs> don't forget the blessor. Don't forget about him. Yeah. A lot of times we fall in love with all the blessings and forget about him. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't forget who's blessing you. They were too successful. They were too rich. They were too happy to take time for the feast or for him. Mm. They were ungrateful, unappreciative, oh, unthankful, and show no gratitude. Mm. I want to read to you another scripture that we've read before, but it's found in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. Mm. I know we've read them before, we're going to read them again. And I'm going to read them to you from the NIV. Oh, boy. Let me see. It says Godless, godlessness oh. in the last days. Second uh -huh. Timothy chapter three, mm -hmm. verses one through seven. But mark this: there will be terrible times in the last days. Believe me, we're in the last days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People will be lovers of themselves, right. lovers of money, uh -huh. boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, treacherous, ra rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying his power, have nothing to do with them, but they are the kind of whom their ways they went, work, uh, worm their ways into homes and gain control over weak-willed women who are loaded down with sin and are swayed by all kinds of evil desires, always learning but never able to understand the truth. Amen. Listen, it goes on. But still, all these things I just read to you are happening now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you don't prepare yourselves to go into the world. <laughs> The world is going to have you. Amen. And listen, we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. If you're not in the word, if you're not in the spirit, yeah. you cannot defeat anything spiritual. Right. Amen. There's spiritual beings out there, devils that you've got to come against. And if you're not prepared spiritual wise, mm -hmm. you're not ready for them. Remember? A part-time Christian cannot defeat a full-time devil. Right. Amen. Amen. It's a spiritual battle on a daily basis. That's why we must renew our minds. Yes. Feed our spirit, man, the word Amen. of God. Renew our minds with the word of God. Amen. And crucify the flesh. Because yeah. the flesh wants to side with the easy way. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're in the easy all the time, you're not preparing yourself. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Jesus paid the price for our salvation. Salvation is a free gift. Receive it. No excuse. You know, when you're being Christ-like and you share his word, let people know. People don't even know this. They try to buy their way to heaven. Mm -hmm. They try to work their way to heaven. They try to do all kinds of ways to get in heaven. But there's no other way. John 14, 6 says, Jesus says, I am the way. I am. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through him. Right. Amen. Amen. So we must receive our free gift of salvation. It's free. He sacrificed. God sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world, he yes. gave his only begotten yes. son. He sacrificed his only begotten son. That whoever believeth in him should not perish, perish but have yeah. everlasting life. life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So salvation is free. But what do we have to do? Somebody gives you a gift. We just had a, a you know, Christmas, uh, birthdays, and all these other things, special occasions, whatever. Somebody give you a gift. They hand it to you. You have to receive it. Yeah. yeah. 
Salvation is free, but yeah. you have to receive it and confess with your mouth. Yes. Not with somebody else's, yeah. not with mom, right. dad, or whoever, family member. But with your mouth, confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Yes. So Lord, you yeah. have to receive it. Receive salvation. Amen. Yes. And that's the only way to the Father. Through Jesus. Accept him. You have an invitation to heaven. Accept it. No excuses. Mm -hmm. After salvation, we commit a life of servanthood. Serving him. Yeah. Also in Matthew, he talks about in chapter, I think it's verse 20, uh, 28, where he talks about Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Yeah. So he's always showing you, he's always showing us, being an example, so we will live a life of servanthood. Mm -hmm. Complete your call and be heaven bound. Yeah. Your heavenly home, we're just passing yeah. through. <laughs> this is not my home. We're yeah. just passing through on our way to heaven, singing victory. Amen. <laughs> Joyfully. <laughs> Glory. Amen. <laughs> the Lord will welcome you. Says, welcome, well done, good and faithful servant. Uh -huh. Thou has been faithful over a few things. I will make you a ruler over many things. He says, yes. enter into the joy of the Lord. Matthew yes. 25, 23. Amen. Amen. So the host invited <laughs> all of us to the feast of salvation, but we must accept the invitation. Yes. And you know what? We're new ministers of reconciliation. We're new ambassadors for God. We go prepare ourselves so we can go and share the good news of the gospel to everyone out there so that they would have a chance. Everyone's going to have a chance to yes. either receive or reject Jesus. Yes. But in the end, <laughs> it'll be their choice. Yes. Amen. So hopefully you'll make the right decision. And listen, we are to sow the seed, plant the seed, and not to try to force them. Right. Amen. He's not going to force himself on, on anybody. Right. Amen. They have to willingly receive Amen. the free gift of salvation. Amen. Amen. We cannot make it to heaven on our own. Accepting is a must. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excuses keep many from accepting their invitation. Don't be one of them. Mm -hmm. Don't their family, friends, jobs, careers, greed, mm -hmm. jealousies, pride, laziness hold you or keep you out of heaven right. it's your choice you yeah. know if somebody is so and so says you know god you sin and god can't use you anymore <laughs> or somebody lied to you and uh -huh. says you know jealous and says you're doing too much for god you, he can't use you anyway uh -huh. because of what you're doing or what you've done you child of god need to get into the word and find out what the word of god says so that nobody can give you Lies feed you lies. You know what the scripture says, so go by what the scripture says, not what lies people try to tell you, mm -hmm. or maybe halfway truth that they don't know, because they they never study to show themselves approved. You need to study to show yourself approved, amen. So you know what the word of God, yes, exactly. the word of God says. Amen. So nobody feeds you lies, and you know that the father of lies, the devil, is going to see to it that he. Or the people he's using against you is going to come and try to distract you. Amen? Yes. So I say, wait a minute. <laughs> Father says, get up. And I, I, I told you this before. Peter wanted to fight when they come to get Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, he said, before the night, before the, before the cock crows three times, and you'll deny me three times. Yes. Peter failed him. But God didn't fail him. Amen. Jesus used him mightily mm -hmm. at the end to preach some messages. Amen. So he's not giving up on you. He's not giving up on any of them. You know, all the people that you ever read about in the Bible were sinners. Mm -hmm. They had faults in their lives. But God used them. Uh -huh. Amen. God used them. So don't put yourself down. Pick right. yourself up and say, you know what? I'm going to get rise up. And be a mighty, 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 mighty servant for God. Amen? Amen. So remember that. Don't give up. Your choice. No more excuses. We must reject sin and accept our invitation or call. Let go and let God. We've been talking about this. Let go and let God. Mm -hmm. And uh, to surrender all to Jesus. Let go and let God. No more excuses. Growing, glowing, and going. 
this new year, this new day for him on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. So let go of all excuses. No holding back. Give your all to God. Totally surrender to him. Totally. You know, no holding back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he knows you and he knows all your faults. Yeah. And he loves you the most. Yeah. <laughs> he loves you the most. But you know what he's going to do? He's going to encourage you. And he's going to tell you, okay, it's time to go. It's time to go. Cast all those trash on me. Cast all those things on me. Right. And Amen. it's time to get up. Yes. And it's time to press on. Yes. Amen. Leaving your past behind. Leaving your trash behind. And pressing on with him. And the Bible says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. You're an overcomer. You're a winner. You're a champion. God sees you this way. So it's time we start seeing ourselves the way he sees us. Yes. Amen. Not the way the yeah. enemy wants to see you. That's right. And not the way your jealous friends or family <laughs> or whoever sees you. Right. Say, well, they're not committed. They're not surrendered. So they're not going to do what you're doing. Mm. But they're going to try to hold you back. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to distract you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to lie if they have to. Mm. Amen. So just press on, child of God. Know that you can do all things through Christ. Know yes, that you can amen. let go and let God. Amen. Let, let God bring you into all he wants you to be. Yes. You know, he created you, called you, anointed you, and equipped you to succeed. Yes, he Equipped did. you to win, not lose. Amen. Right. God has already placed everything in us to complete our mission. Yes. We're equipped to com uh, complete what he has called us to do. Mm -hmm. Let's not get too busy to forget whose we are and who we are in him, amen? amen. Let us get busy. Let us get busy. Let's, let us not get busy like Martha and forget oh. about the master who's oh, there for us, amen? Uh -huh. Inviting us to come and dine in fellowship with him yeah. on a daily basis, amen. amen? Say, Lord, you know what? <laughs> I know, uh, you haven't done it, but I know I've done it. Mm. We say, you know, I'm gonna pray today. Right before I go to bed, I'll pray. Mm. Well, it's, I'll get into bed and never pray. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say about you I'm going to say about me but we mix our priorities we put him down to the bottom instead of having him first like Matthew 6.33 says seek you first the kingdom of God on a daily basis put him first Amen. on your priority list yeah I know you got priorities wherever you work, wherever you do but make sure he's first and make sure you visit with him before you go to bed and pray yeah. Amen Praise God. Come on now. Praise <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Be grateful for all he's done for you. Uh -huh. No more excuses. Renounce sin and serve God. God has made a way. Yes. Amen. But we have to let go and let God guide and provide. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to provide. He's going to yes. meet all your needs. All oh, needs. but brother, I can tell you what I need. I can tell you all the things that I want. Mm -hmm. And well, he's not going to maybe give you all you want, but he's going to give you all your all needs. You need, amen. <laughs> yeah. amen. So he'll guide and provide. Yes. And he's given us his Holy Spirit. Yes, he has. But we yes, need to be are. listening and we need to be obedient. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, amen. Praise, praise God. God. Praise God. Praise Thank God. <clears throat> when God calls you to do something, step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Says the just. Shall live by faith. Yes. Second Corinthians 5, 7. I think we have it up here. Amen. Amen. And not by sight. Just do it. <laughs> Knowing that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No excuses. Trust him. Trust him. Amen. No, no, no. Trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Just trust him. Yeah. Step out in faith. You know, <laughs> you don't have to understand it. That's right. <laughs> you just know that you step out in faith. Uh -huh. You know when God is tugging at you. Yeah. And, and a lot of times we say, well, I, I don't know what's going on, but something is telling me. Uh -huh. We don't say Holy no. Spirit or God uh -huh. is telling me. We just say something is telling yeah. me not to take this route, <laughs> to go this route. Or God is telling me, stop here. Yes. Or God is telling me to talk to this person. Mm -hmm. But we haven't got to this yet, but <laughs> who am I to talk to this person. Oh. You know, if pastor was here, oh. if sister know-it-all was here, <laughs> if, if brother so-and-so was here, they really know the word of God. Uh -uh. Well, guess what? 
it's our responsibility to get the word in yes, us. So when we get it in us, yeah. he says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living uh -huh. water. So we get ourselves full so we yeah. can come out. Yeah. Amen. We get ourselves full to overflowing. Uh -huh. And that overflow is going to minister to people. Yes. You'll surprise yourself, you know. Someday you'll say, wow, I can't believe that came out of me. Uh -huh. It was been there all the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. We just got to release that yes. and step out in faith. Amen. Amen. Thank Ooh, you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank I tell you what, when Jonah was in that boat and there was some storms coming, mm -hmm. he went and told the captain, he says, you know why you're having storms? He said, because I'm running from God. And if you throw me overboard, your problems be over. Well, he said all this in faith, not knowing Jesus had already made a way for him uh -huh. to be rescued. Right. Amen. He had prepared a fish, and he jumped overboard, and guess what? The fish swallowed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then went and spit him out where God said, go to Nineveh. He said, but I'm not. I'm going this way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen? Ooh, he says, go to El Pine. He said, no, I'm going to OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. <laughs> oh, God. Jeremiah 29, 11, New Living Translation says, For I know, he says, I know the plans I yes. have for you. If he knows your plans, yes. who do you go for advice? Oh who do you go to get information from? Mm -hmm. You go yeah. to him. Mm -hmm. He's got your plan. Yes. You don't go to Sister Know It All, or you don't go to <laughs> Brother So and So, the Know It All. You go <laughs> to him. And then, hey, we assemble ourselves and encourage yes. one another. Or right. every Sunday or when you meet believers every day you know hey we, we lift each other up we encourage yes. one another yes. but still he <laughs> says I know mm -hmm. the plans I have for you mm -hmm. says the Lord plans of well being and not for trouble right. mm -hmm. to give you a future yeah. and a hope Amen. Amen. so you know <laughs> he didn't bypass you and you're not here by accident like That's people right. told you all That's these right. years you know you're not here by accident. That's right. You're here because God placed you here. Uh -huh. Amen. God placed you here. Uh -huh. And if you know, if you want to know why you're here, then you go to him. Mm -hmm. And you'll find out how he's gifted you yes. and what he wants you to do. You know, yeah. we said so many times, you know, this is a physical body he's made. And every <laughs> part in this body works perfect and works in unity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Those parts you see on the outside, those parts you see on, you don't see on the inside, yes. they work together. Amen. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. We need to work together. Amen. Amen. And unity. Mm -hmm. Not putting down each other, but lifting each other up. Amen. Whether you be the little toe and say, well, yeah, I don't do that much for God. Big or small, just do it under him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just do it under him. When you do it under him, he's going to bless you. Yes. Say, wow, I fulfilled what God told me to do. Uh -huh. I just told this person about Christ. You yes. sow the seed. You don't try to convince them on the spot and convert them on the spot. That's just, right. just sow the seed. Amen. Just tell them God loves you. You know, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And you sow the seed of salvation. Amen. You know, and Praise he's going to see to it. It's going to be watered mm -hmm. and the increase is going to come. Yes. Amen. He's going to give the increase. So, Lord. anyway, <clears throat> I, uh, I believe this is a good place to to stop. Mm -hmm. So we will let go and let God. Yes. Amen. 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 So it motivates us to receive him, yes. to serve him, yeah. to be used by him, Amen. to be his witnesses, to complete our mission, mm -hmm. and to be heaven bound. Yes. Remember what <clears throat> since we started this year, we're supposed to start with a bang. Start the new year with a bang. Right. What is bang means? Mm. With an excitement. Yes. With enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. With, you know, stirring ourselves up. Yes. Yes. You know, nobody's going to come and stir you up. That's right. you got to stir yourself up to go on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at all the doom and gloom in the world, <laughs> you ain't never going to stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. You're just going to be down like the world. Yes. But you got to stir yourself up yes. and be that bright light, that good news mm -hmm. out there in that lost world. Amen. God's going to use you. How's God going to use you if you're doom and gloom? Yeah. You know, as a believer, we talked about this. As a believer, we should be the happiest people on earth. Yes. <laughs> this is not our home. We're just passing through. 
-hmm. And you know what? I can do all things through Christ. All I'm things. saved on my way to heaven. Mm -hmm. Shout in victory. Hallelujah. Amen. So praise God. People see you this and they say, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy for God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know where I'm going. I know whose I am and who I am in yeah. Christ. And when they see that, they say, wow, I want what you've got. And you can have them. He's free. Yes. Salvation is free. Yes. All you have to do is receive it. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. We'll stop right there. And all those, those of you that are yeah. uh, out there listening by audio or watching by media, we don't want to close without letting you know God loves you and we love you. Amen. Also want to give you an opportunity to pray. Everybody pray this with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. Repent Come into my life. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So you know what? If you pray, Dad, we believe you got saved. And all you need to do is get to a Bible-based church where they preach the Word of God, get to study in the Word of God. Amen. And you can go and go and go for God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. If you need a touch of healing, the Word of God says, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yeah. Yeah. Just Amen. put your hand on that body. Yes. Have faith Lord. and believe it and receive it. By Jesus yes. Christ, you are healed. Yes. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> be saved, be healed, be blessed, be changed, be encouraged. Amen. Yes. God loves you. We love you. And guess what? We want to welcome you to the family of God. Amen. Amen. You're a child of God. So praise God. Don't let nobody talk you out of it. So go, grow, and go for grow for Jesus. Amen. And share his good news. And know from now on, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We'll close right there. And we'll pick it up next week. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.